Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on all your favorite social media platforms. We all love a good Disney ride, but sometimes the magic is interrupted when the rides malfunction and break down. It's bound to happen from time to time. Through submissions from viewers like you, these never-before-seen breakdowns give some rare perspectives into many of our favorite Disney rides. If you've caught a fail or malfunction on camera, you can submit it to www.tpmvids.com for a chance to have it featured in a future video. Now be sure to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside as we count down the top 10 Disney ride breakdowns, malfunctions, and in-show exits. Part 11. Number 10. Over at the Haunted Mansion, you really get acquainted with the sights and sounds of the 999 Happy Hunts. See, now, see that's the sound you hear? Well, that's a different sound than what I was thinking of. <laughs> a viewer named Megan had been stuck here at Disneyland for a good 20 minutes when the moment happened that so many Disney fans hope for. Oh. These lights on reactions come in all shapes and sizes. And then the work lights would come on, oh my god! Dude, no way! <laughs> oh yes! Now up top, Megan was stuck in a perfect spot, getting this amazing view of the graveyard and the hatbox ghost. Uh-huh, he is functioning. It was so cool, and there were so many rare things to see. Dust on this tree. Yeah, like the dust. Okay, now I'm really sending it. And thanks so much for sending this in. But what is that noise? That one. <laughs> well, the show lights just turned off, but I've never noticed that skeleton head blasting up in the air before. Have you? <laughs> now, usually when the work lights turn on and the show lights are off, it means cast members are getting ready for the end show exit. That's Disney's term for an evacuation. It sounds a little more magical. And it wasn't long before a cast member with a flashlight came onto the scene to proceed. Then they were in for a treat, getting an up-close view of all the animatronics and set pieces in the graveyard. Of course, it was accompanied by that sweet hissing sound from the compressors. Perfect white noise to fall asleep. It's always so fascinating, though, getting to see all the details that you wouldn't necessarily notice when you're on the ride. While cast members lit the exit path with flashlights, Megan was taken to the end of the ride and given a lightning lane for the trouble. Number 9. Slinky Dog Dash has never been featured in a breakdown video on the channel, and that's all gonna change right now. We got stuck on Slinky Dog Dash at the launch. This is crazy. <laughs> This submission was sent in by at TDNO10 on Instagram, and they hadn't been stopped here for too long. Cast members actually made it onto the scene fairly quickly, since this area is easily accessible by the load and unload area. Now, what seems to be standard practice on Slinky Dog Dash breakdowns is that cast members always hand out little bottles of water. Here's some water for ya. Thank you. It happens again in this other submission from a viewer named Ashley. Who's ever been evacuated off a roller coaster? Woo! <laughs> Thank you. That's the energy I'm talking about. <laughs> now, it's not coincidental that both of these breakdowns happen in almost the same place. Since this is one of the break runs, this stretch of track is one of the few places on the ride where you would ever break down. You're going to be coming out towards me. You're going to put hands on the bar. We're going to stand in a single file line like we are in once cast members release the restraints, it's a pretty simple in-show exit. This is cool. It is cool, right? Yeah, I was evacuated off of Pirates years ago, but it was like we were stuck on for an hour. Yeah, so you can, like, get you off it. Yeah. <laughs> this whole platform shows you exactly where you could be evacuated in this section of the ride. You guys are gonna me? Thank you. I love being evacuated. <laughs> Ashley was definitely ready for her in-show exit. You can get your very own Ready For My In-Show Exit merch in the TPM Vid store. The links are here in this video. Now, it only took about 45 seconds to get back up to the top. It was all a very quick process, and cast members were stationed up here ready for guest recovery. This is a lightning lane. You guys can use it anywhere but Rise and Mickey and Minnie's. Okay, thank you so much. Never been out evacuated from a roller coaster before, so that was sick. I mean, talk about an exciting adventure, and I couldn't think of a better soundtrack to end the experience. Number 8. 
On Rise of the Resistance, the transport ship with Beck is just one part of the entire ride experience. Now, in a submission from a viewer named Kelvin, the transport ship is the star of this next breakdown for the very first time on this channel. Temporarily stop. Please stay where you are, and a cast member will assist you shortly. It's broken. Stand back from those doors. So, a First Order officer is supposed to greet you, but it looks like we're on our own. Even the underscore reached the end of the track. He died. Sounds about right. Oh, wait, 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 I think I see some movement. Hmm, slightly creepy. But I actually think this is Beck's scared animation for when the ship is taken over by the First Order. Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, we have a blink for help. Yep, see? So it's actually a clever bit of programming. Everyone, everyone, I cannot hear you, but I can see you. Wave your hands if everyone can hear me. Just remember, someone is watching you on all the rides. Always watching. Now, it wasn't long before the cabin door was opened and the guests were directed through a backstage area for the in show exit. After a quick walk outside through an area we're all familiar with, the guests were taken into a secret entrance and led into the massive hangar to continue the ride experience. Number 7. So, you're on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at Magic Kingdom. You get to the end of the ride and then... <laughs> well, I think you activated Zerg mode. This happened in July of 2023 and was sent in by a viewer named Mackenzie. Now, this spot has to be cursed though because in August, it actually happened again. <laughs> This time to a viewer named Spooks while he was on the ride with some friends. Go ahead, flip bomb. Great job maxing out those scores, though. <laughs> That's amazing. In show exits are fun, but I love seeing rides malfunction like this. Don't you? <laughs> this is really disorienting. <laughs> it keeps saying joystick disabled on theirs. Is it on yours? That's what you so I think there's a speaker on the ride itself because you can hear the audio fade off in my video here. It's, it's gonna fix itself once we go through here, I think. You think so? I don't know if it will. It, yeah, we're moving and you're still shaking. The rocking was not letting up. It's not supposed to do this. No. I think it was trying to calibrate when it stopped. Yeah, or a glitch in the Toy Story universe. Let's be honest, this is really the only way to rock out and celebrate maxing your score. Oh, uh, it fixed itself. Oh, it fixed. We did it! This is true galactic hero status. Number 6. This next submission takes us on to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disneyland and was sent in by a viewer named Michaela, where obviously something was bound to stop them now. Could possibly go wrong? Well, get yeah, this. Experiencing a temporary delay. M O U S E. See you when our runaway railway runs away again real soon. And they're off. <laughs> the timing of the announcement worked out perfectly with their regular animation, didn't it though? Now, this is a great spot to break down because if you look back, you'll get to see Mickey and Minnie's car reset like in this other submission from a viewer named Bella G. And now it's ready for the next set of trains that clearly won't be coming anytime soon. Usually when the work lights are turned on in this ride, it means an in-show exit will probably be taking place. From here in the first tunnel, it's a pretty simple walk back to the load area. But no matter where you are on the ride, cast members will always come to check in with you first, like in this submission from Mama Wolf. Hey friends, does anybody need any immediate assistance at all? Does anybody have a wheelchair with them? Okay, this feels like the start of a commercial. Is everyone okay? 
Okay. We're going to take yeah. it with everybody and then we'll start walking up together in just a moment. Short off. Yeah. Perfect. Just give me a little bit longer. A massive appreciation goes out to all these cast members. They always handle these situations so well. Good luck. Yeah. Now, when the in-show exit takes you through the end of the ride at Disneyland, one very different thing you'll see here that you won't see at Hollywood Studios is the projected exit sign. It points to the exit to help lead guests out of the ride, and I mean, you might as well put those projectors to good use, right? I honestly don't know why they wouldn't do this at Hollywood Studios. Do you have any theories on why this is only done here? Comment below! Number 5 Breaking down on It's a Small World could be a nightmare for some people. And a viewer named Daniel W. and his family encountered a very interesting experience here at Disneyland. They decided to pause the music for our sanity. Well, that is music to my ears. Listen to the sounds of the motors. Why are we even stop? Why are we stop? I don't know. Because we're just going to sit here for a while. Now, obviously, there was some sort of issue with the ride, but with the boat still moving, it seemed possible that maybe they just float on through the ride with no music. I mean, I could think of nothing creepier. Oh, boy. Well, Daniel got word guests in line were leaving the queue, then the inevitable happened. Once again, we ask that everyone please remain seated, and we'll be with you in just a little while, and we'll keep the updates coming. Thank you. Bumper boats mean one thing. Dude, intro exits is rad. Now, after waiting about five minutes with no updates, a cast member finally came on the intercom to announce... Attention all cast members in phase Ace of Small three. World, please begin your Phase 3 evacuation. Now you might be thinking, what's a Phase 3 evacuation? Sounds pretty serious. I feel over the PA means I still need two buddies to help you out of the boat. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cast members inside It's a Small World, additional cast members are being deployed inside the attraction to assist with the evacuation. Thank you. This is gonna be a life experience right here. Well, just when it seemed like help was here, they disappeared through the mini door, never to be seen again. Alright, just letting you guys know, if you don't see a gray carpet right next to you, you're gonna have to wait a little longer so we can push you back. Looks like there's gray carpet here, so this boat is literally all set to go. They just need those buddies. Please respond to the goodbye room to assist with evacuations. Thank you. At this rate, they're gonna be the last boat evacuated. That's very nice. Sarcasm, if I ever heard it. Now, after waiting 25 long minutes, help was finally on the way. Yay! Woo! Yay! Woohoo! Oh, wow, okay, they just keep coming. It's like a magic trick. Um, oh, guys? Oh, great. Finally, cast members began the in show exit for Daniel's boat. Step right on the seat, and then a big step right in front of Daniel. Just hang out right there for us for just a moment. As a safety precaution, one cast member with a pole needs to hold the boat in place while the guests exit. Remember, safety is always the priority. We're evacuating at the small world. The best ride to be stuck on. Number 4 so many submissions come in from viewers riding the People Mover at Magic Kingdom and getting to see Space Mountain with the lights on. The ride does break down quite a bit. It's really cool seeing the inside of the show building though, like in this submission from Christopher. Look at this. Oh, Would you look at that? Well, it's I don't know if the ride is running. It's running. In these lights on situations, it's pretty rare seeing the ride testing, but also equally as rare seeing it operate with guests. Now in terms of the lights being on, something even more rare is seeing footage of a lights on ride through from Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom. It happens all the time at Disneyland, but today is your lucky day. At K underscore percent caught a lights on ride through. So here are some highlights from that ride. Now just note that handheld devices have recently been prohibited on the ride, and this video was taken back in 2021. With the lights on, you see that it's such a basic track design, and it doesn't look that fast at all. It's amazing what complete darkness does to this coaster experience. Yes, I'll get your email. Number 3. One ride you never hear about breaking down is the Liberty Square Riverboat. I would argue and say it's one of the most reliable rides at Magic Kingdom. Well, on May 6, 2023, the unthinkable happened. 
A viewer named Sunthorn was taking a ride on the Liberty Bell when the vessel broke down on its voyage. It stopped just between the Tom Sawyer Island launch points, leaving hundreds of guests abandoned in the river. Well, thankfully, it wasn't long before the island rafts were deployed to rescue the guests on the ship. But as the evacuation process began, some guests started to worry about the boat's fate. We're not sick. We're not sick. <laughs> we're just having some, we're having some trouble with our boat. This cast member is absolutely right. The Rivers of America is not deep at all, probably only a few feet like you can see here while it was drained. Now, the Tom Sawyer Island rafts can only hold so many people, and one raft was still being used to transport guests off the island. So this was all a slow process. By the time Sunthorn and his group were ready to be evacuated, they had been stuck on the boat for 45 minutes. And, uh, nice and slowly getting out of the raft here. Do appreciate your continued patience. Obviously, cast members have to train for situations like this, but I wonder how many times this evacuation process has actually been carried out. I want to bet that you can probably count it on one hand. Yeah, it would be funner if we had the, like I said, broke down back in the back part of the park. I definitely agree, but this is still such a rare Disney ride breakdown to experience. Number 2 This next epic breakdown takes us on to Radiator Springs Racers and was sent in by a viewer named Griffin and her family. So by this point, they were on their second ride through after getting stopped the first time when they came to another halt. Are we stuck? Are we on fire? Um. Well, that doesn't sound good. I think it's safe to say we lost the race. Yep, we definitely yeah. lost this race. Our car broke down. Yeah, I think that ship has sailed, but at least you're stuck with a nice view. It's been many hours since we've been trapped on this ride. It was definitely more like 10 minutes, but this is great for dramatic effect. Go on. Greatest birthday present ever, but it has been quite a while. Griffin had always hoped for a ride breakdown, so this was a perfect birthday present. This is an ride breakdown. We're the one that broke it. We broke it. Yeah! Now that's the spirit. Even though work lights are turned on, it doesn't always mean an in-show exit will be taking place. Something might happen. Something. You can delete it if it does. And they were off to actually finish the race. But the saga doesn't end here. After a couple more brief stops, a cast member at the unload asked if they wanted to ride again. This would be their third time going around, and they said yes. It was still unclear though what the issue was, and that's when Griffin's mom asked. What happened? So it sounds like there was a single issue with a car on the racetrack. You slammed oh, that, that was us. What's that? That was us. I think we that was us. We were stuck on the racetrack. And well, you guys might have been stuck with the car. I just removed would have been the car. Uh, oh, you removed one of the cars. So we oh, so probably something similar to what happened to a viewer named Miley. <laughs> That's apparently the alert for malfunctioning cars. Thankfully, Griffin and her family were able to make it all the way through the ride on their third attempt, but when they got to the end, the work lights came on again. This ride just wasn't having it this day. They were asked if they wanted to go around again, but after 45 minutes of riding, seeing it go from day to night, they were all raced out. But Griffin said she will never forget this birthday present. Number 1 Imagine getting stuck at the drop on Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. I mean, it probably doesn't happen often, but a viewer named Fiona actually caught it on camera. Here, a Pirates cast member is explaining to guests how they're going to try and break the boat free. Well, I don't think that's working. Like, they're stuck, stuck. But it was worth another shot. OK, 
okay, they're actually moving. You can do it! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! You got this, guys! You got this! You can do it! Keep pushing! Now this is a team effort. Strangers all coming together, but unfortunately, all that pushing just wasn't doing it. I think it's time to call in the reinforcements. Cue those maintenance cast members. Who then leave the scene? They were trying to do everything they could, but cast members began preparing for the possibility of an in-show exit. This all seems like a super stressful situation, so a big kudos to this cast member. If we have to do an in-show exit, I'm gonna crack up, because we were just talking about this with the, all the TPM videos. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, by this point, the boat had been stuck for almost 10 minutes, and I think everyone was starting to realize they would be evacuating, when all of a sudden... <laughs> I think whatever this guy did worked. This was such a bizarre and frankly, such a rare malfunction to witness. So have you ever broke down or experienced a malfunction on a ride or attraction at the Disney theme parks? What was that experience like? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.